Hello, this is Clemmy Games, and welcome to episode 10 of My Gaming History, the series where you can learn more about me and the games that have shaped my preferences and perspective with regards to gaming today. In this episode, we will be looking at Metal Slug, a run and gun action platformer released on the Neo Geo Arcade Machine in 1996. The version that I had, however, was the port on PlayStation 1, which was released in 1997. Metal Slug was developed by Nazca Corporation, which was later acquired by SNK, which is where the IP sits today. Metal Slug is, of course, the initial game which kicked off the series which consists of 7 main entries today. You play as Captain Marco Rossi, with player 2 controlling Lieutenant Tama roving if you chose, as you shoot and blast your way through the levels. Controls are also simple, with movement, shooting, jumping, and a button for a grenade. I remember loving how the game felt, as the platforming was precise, and the chaotic gameplay felt fast-paced and really fun. There were a variety of different weapon upgrades, from the heavy machine gun to a rocket launcher. These were usually given by rescued prisoners of war, which in co-op was a point of contention as players rushed to rescue as many POWs as they could. Metal Slug in the title referred to the all-terrain combat tank in the game's lore, and players did have the opportunity to jump into said tanks during the course of gameplay. The added firepower while in a metal slug certainly helped, and the ability to withstand more than one hit also helped greatly, which brings me into my next point. At its core, Metal Slug was designed for arcades, which meant that there was an aspect of quarter eating. Each coin gave you three lives, and a single bullet from an enemy would result in losing one of them. There are certain instances of the game being unfair in some respect, since there was only a very low chance of you being able to avoid enemy projectiles unless you knew what was coming. However, given that I had the PlayStation port, I don't believe that this was an issue for me, although I can see how it could be frustrating if you want to beat the game in an arcade. All that aside, I do look back fondly on my time with Metal Slug. Running and shooting enemies is always fun, and the boss battles were also fun and challenging, although some people might say that it is a little too tough just to eat your quarters. Today, some of the more modern Metal Slug games are available on Steam, and I did play through one of them with a friend some time back, and the experience was pretty fun, so do check this game out if you have not played any one of these. Anyway, that will do it for this video. Thank you all for watching. Do stay tuned for the next episode for another game from my past. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Leave a comment if you would like to share your experience with the game. Thanks again and I will see you in the next video.